This is the beautiful Kara. This is Marcus's other half. You guys are two halves of one whole, right? That's right. We're twin flames. Oh. I feel like we're cut from this. I feel like we were one cell and we divided at birth and we found each other. So tell the story of how you met really quickly. So it was, you guys kept like me missing each other. You lived in the same city, you lived on the same street and you never met. That's right. He met my brother many times before he met me and then I was walking in Home Depot once. I just saw a YouTube video for the, the day before and I'm walking and I see him the next day in line in Home Depot and I asked him, are you Marcus? And he said, yes. And we hugged. And that was it. <laughs> the rest is history. We've been together ever since. That's how I found both of you. Actually, it was YouTube two weeks ago, and I just I I've been researching uh, raw uh, foods for a while because I want to go raw, and I'm I'm not raw yet. Um, I, I I've even tried to like I'm like I should dedicate a day to just being raw. So I found one of your recipes, and then I just got hooked on the two of you and your dynamic, and then from there I just saw, started finding Marcus's stuff, which is so theatrical and interesting. And then at the same time, there's a lot of truth in what he says. Yes. I'm more of raw foods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's um, shifting into the romance department because he's tired of telling people, you know, same. the same thing. And, you know, he's like, just read the books and let me move on into relationships. That's his favorite subject. My favorite subject is relationships and health. You make a mean salad, but what's the number one raw thing people could do every day that would be amazing for them and change their diets completely and their life completely? Well, it depends on what type of um, appliances they have. The, the, I always say the easiest way to experience um, what raw foods can do to you is just quit eating cooked food and eat fruit salad in the morning and salads at night. You don't need any equipment for that. If you do live in a dry climate, um, you could take advantage of the sun in the summertime and dehydrate stuff outside. We make buckwheat and flax crackers. We just put them on the um, board and put it outside for eight hours in the summertime. And it's great. So what do you think of the people? Because there's so much conflicting information, like the fruitarians, like, have you heard of Freely the Banana Girls? Yeah, I have. What, what do you think of Freely's well, whole lot and her and her durian writer husband? I don't know. I, I just think to each his own. If it, you know, she, I, obviously it really works for her and she wants to share what works for her with, you know, a lot of people. I don't really um, know too much about what she, you know, what she's, her, her thing about the uh, 30 bananas a day. I don't know how it could be bad, you know, bananas, but I do know overeating yeah. even good food is bad for you. Um, being fruitarian, I think you're kind of limiting yourself to a lot of other nutrients and I think you kind of need a little more harder foods, more dense foods in your diet. But hey, if it works for fruitarians, you know, God bless them, I do what feels good to me. And um, eating a fruit salad in the morning and a salad with a bunch of pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and spirulina and superfoods on top of my salad, it works for me. It absolutely works for you because I, I won't say how old you are, but it's unbelievable how old you are. And you've had a baby and you're in shape and you're, you know, fully embracing and showing the anti-aging lifestyle, which is because of what you eat. Yes. Um, well, I'm 45. Uh, I just, it's mind over matter. I feel like I did when I was 16. When I was 16, I met a um, woman from Jamaica who was 42, and I was so, I'm like, you're 42? She looked so young, and that number was so old to me at, <laughs> at 16, and now I'm like 45, and I'm like, my God, I don't feel, I'm even older than 42, and I just don't feel like that old lady or whatever, like I thought, you know, I did when I was 16, like I thought 42 year olds or people in their 40s are, but I just feel so good. I, I do cartwheels and handstands and I jump and I love to run when I run to the mail, when I go get my mail, I run and I'm like, you know, I just don't want to stop because I think when you stop, when you stop moving, that's when you are getting into problems. You have to take care of your body as well as your mind. Absolutely. I've watched both my parents turn stiff because they never stretched and stretching every day is so important that when I don't stretch I feel my body is just I get up and that's when I turn into an old lady actually even if I eat good food if I don't stretch really stretch I start feeling 45 but stretching is so important so important you don't want to turn into a, a board when you're older if you don't stretch you're gonna be stiff and miserable and in pain 
in your later years. I can't I can't stress stretching enough. Stretch for us right now. How do I, am I supposed to stretch? Oh, well. Your abs are much better than my abs. <laughs> Marcus has, um, in his Heal Yourself 101, he does, um, he has uh, laid out the stretches you do, but, you know, I, I took ballet as uh, younger, um, and, you know, I just, you just go like this and pretend you're trying to reach for a bowl over here, and and if you pull, you could feel the, the right here, and it's so important. Knee, uh, feet kind of like a foot apart. Do you feel that? If you just go like that and stretch, and then um, another thing, I, I try and go, back like that you know as far back as you can when you do sit-ups you really want to stretch your stomach right afterward and then this stretch is very important too <laughs> this stretch is roll back up you don't want to go up like that um and when i'm sleeping in bed you know i'll lift my legs up and do some stretches go like this just whatever I, I just do what my feels good to my body so what's your favorite sport listen I love playing football I love it um, I love playing baseball uh, I don't like watching sports but I love playing sports um, volleyball I was in volleyball volleyball in high school because I was taller they're all great anything active I just got into jogging I never jogged before, but I, I really love jogging. When we were in an expo in Sherman Oaks, I would run out of the hotel and just run around all the city. Just run. <laughs> it was so great. I love jogging. Um, I love anything active. Yeah, you like to dance too, because you... Very much. <laughs> Did you guys go to like a lot of dance festivals? We, we don't. We should a lot more. We go to a couple, and um, I'm still trying to get him to take me out to a night in Las Vegas to a dance club. Um, uh, one of the bigger ones, you know, where there's lines around the block to get in because I love dancing. I could dance for hours. I love when I see girls that do not know what they're doing dancing, but they don't care. And those are the girls that are having the most fun. You got to be free. Yeah. You shouldn't judge people and it's bad when people judge others. It feels good to not judge people. What's the worst food that Americans eat? Because I think it's, what is it, flour? Yeah, uh, I say flour. I, I actually think sugar, in my opinion, is the worst. They used to give sugar to livestock in the old, olden days to fatten them up, and all the animals started to drop dead. So people that are eat sugar, we're, we're, it's killing us slowly with sugar because we only eat a little bit. Uh, I think that's really bad. It causes wrinkles immediately. It's so bad for you. I think sugar is the, the thing I stay away from the most as well as table salt. Um, Marcus and I have our own little container we got from the container store of sea salt that we take with us everywhere and we only use that salt if we go out to restaurants to avoid the table salt because that's really bad too. It's They separate the nutrients from the salt and they sell the nutrients to vitamin companies to, and they give, sell the salt to Morton and it's not not whole complete and it's causing it's causing so much damage to the body it's scary so sugar salt flour third yeah, I agree with you and then hydrogenated synthetic fat there's so many bad things out there that we need to stay away from I would just listen to you know that God dropped us into the Garden of Eden not into like a slaughterhouse or not to the Olive Garden <laughs> oh, yeah, not into the Olive Garden it's about holistic health, emotional health, spiritual health, and physical health. And if you treat your body well, you are you can hear it better. If it's not bogged down with a bunch of processed foods and toxins and stuff, you know, you you have better communication with it. When you eat something, it's uh, giving you a, a stomach ache. I, don't ever eat it again. Your body's telling you, I don't want that. It's bad for us. And your body is your best friend. It's the only one that will never lie to you. And um, it won't give you false information. So you need to really respect it and listen to it and do what it is telling you.